Joanne is registered blind and has severe mobility problems. She's not able to work and for many years relied on income support benefit. But when she moved house last year, she was moved over to Universal Credit instead and had to endure the initial wait for a payment. It was a nightmare. For that first month, you've got to think, right, where do I get food from? How am I going to pay my bills? Um, and you end up owing companies money because you haven't been able to pay them. She's among 3,000 council tenants in Newcastle who are on universal credit and have together fallen £1.1 million behind on rent. Their housing provider says it's due to get worse. Our projection at the moment is £4.2 million annual loss. So that's how much your tenants are going to owe you as a result of being moved on to universal credit? By the credit. time it's completely rolled out, that is what we're projecting to lose by 2022. And how big a problem is that? Huge. It, it is huge and unfortunately our residents are the ones that are suffering. Universal Credit is replacing six benefits from job seekers and employment support allowance to housing benefit, child and working tax credit and income support. Job centres here in Gateshead and parts of County Durham are moving over to the new system from next month. The Department for Work and Pension says that Universal Credit provides more support to claimants and is helping more people move into work faster and for longer. It insists the rollout is being done in a gradual, safe and secure way and says advanced payments are available for those who need extra help. The MP for North West Durham has led calls for the rollout to be paused. She met the Work and Pension Secretary today to ask for it not to be introduced in her constituency in December. We know how expensive winter is. People have higher fuel costs, children are not in school, so they're having to feed their children much, much more. Aside from all of the costs to do with Christmas and the festive period, this is going to leave people in really hard financial difficulties. Kevin has been homeless before and regularly uses a food bank. He's from Peter Lee, where new claimants will go on to Universal Credit from October. By the end of the month, I'll have nothing. And that worries you moving over to Universal Credit? Uh, yeah, definitely. The food banks across County Durham are now stocking up specially to try to mitigate against the hardship they believe Universal Credit will continue to bring.